this is called engine. Okay, so this is actually a pictures from the Pixar Bay. Okay, so in the Pixar Bay, you will see one side which is shutter stock, and then we see down which is actually free. We look for free images. So, okay, let's click and see. Okay, just click on the image, and then you can see here free for commercial uh, use, no attribution required. Means that this image you can use. You don't even have to name the author. It's basically free to use. So don't be worried about using. So Pixabay has got high quality images for use. Even if you upload, you will see the image. So you can download it. So this tells you about the author and who is the creator. Okay, but this is free for you to use. So Pixabay. Some people want to advertise the images, so they give it free, free, free use. So this is public domain. But in your in your lecture, right? If you want to use images, you have to look from Creative Commons. You can look from Creative Commons, and then you can look for CC images here. Search for image. Okay. So this is using CC image search. Okay. So I want to look for image for you. Uh, okay, so I want to search for image. Eucalyptus. Huh? Example. I'm using eucalyptus, right? So here it's like this. So when you're searching for the image, you click here. I want something I can use for commercial purpose and something which I can modify adapt. Now we are not doing commercial use of the slide, but what is happening? Someone can reuse our work later, and then they can say it's commercial, right? Somebody may use your lecture notes. So to avoid that, you use you click both, okay, and then you search, okay, eucalyptus picture. So it will start looking for picture. So it gave you the picture from Flickr. So these images actually, can you see this license here? CC. Creative Common uh, attribution and then reuse. So uh, share alike. So CC means the image is under a Creative Commons license. Means you can use it, but you need to attribute the author. Means suppose you put the image in your journal or in your thesis or in your slide, you need to click here and attribute the author. So who is the author? It will show you here. Okay. So it tells you about. So it tells you the author needs to be acknowledged. So that's what where is that picture. Man? Okay. So this is the image. So you can download this image and you can you can download and reuse. Okay, so you click here, download. Okay. So it tells you. Okay. Now this image is free for reuse, provided you clicked here. You need to click and uh, introduce this. So this is a summer of snowflake by Miko. So you need to put Sumba. So even your students, right? When they do the Sumba, they add source. Always add the, this attribution. So it, you need to click exactly this. A summer snowflake by Miko. So this is the title, author. Uh, source and the uh, license. Okay, uh, as this is the license. So this is the part of attribution mm -hmm. when you do. Normally, our Sumba, we just put in the link, right? Retrieved on so and so date. But this one is important for this. If you are putting in the website, you need to embed the whole link. Okay, but you cannot see the link. It will come inside the website. But we are not doing into going into that now. We just want to use for the lecture note. So these images can be used for lecture note. Okay. Now suppose you want to suppose you made all your PDF lectures, uh, sorry, your PowerPoint lecture, and you want to give it the license. How you do it is you do is what is known as a you look for Creative Commons license chooser license chooser. Okay. So this is Creative Commons license chooser. Okay. Wait for a while. It'll so this is called a under the same website. There's a license chooser. Creative Commons license chooser. It's called Creative Commons. Okay. So, if you come for our training for the Creative Commons licensing, when we which we do under BSM only, that we will teach you all how to embed it into the documents. Okay. But it's a procedure, so I cannot do it. Show you now. It takes time to go through the procedure. But I will show you how to create the simple license. So the first thing, the license chooser is actually a like a question. It asks you the license feature. Your license depends on your choice. So, do you want other people to use your work. If you click yes, it will create one type of license. If you create no, it will create under type. And if you create yes, as long as others share it, okay. So if you want to share it, you create yes. If you don't, people to share no. And share alike means they will share it exactly as it is. Okay, I will tell you why why we have that as uh, long as uh, others share alike. What it means is like this. Suppose I wrote an article on the political situation. Okay, which sees different views. Okay, and then but somebody extracts only that part of the political situation which is against another party. Or if it's same thing about scientific research. Okay, they will only extract that, and then they will print it and they'll cite it. Oh, cannot cite so they will cite my article. That's not that's not a share alike. But when I say it's share alike, means they have to share the whole article as such. 
which happens for statistical data as well. Statistical data, they only cite one part and they say, oh, someone said so. So in that case, you have to use the share alike, okay? And then uh, allow commercial. So all work, if you don't want people to use it, you create no. If you want people, uh, people can use your work, means they can download your slide and commercialize it, then you click yes, okay? So this is a kind of license. So for example, I click allow adaptation of work and allow is say, okay? So now the license will come. I will show you down there. The license already printed out. So this is called CCBY. This is the most free license. So means I create the license. Everyone can use it. They can commercialize it. They can remix it and reuse. But they have to cite me. Okay? They can use part of my data, a whole of my data, or part of my gambar. They can crop it, edit it. But they need to cite me as the original creator. Okay? Just imagine. Suppose I had selected this one. Yes, as long as others share alike, and no. Okay? Suppose I create this license. Okay? Here. So now you can see the license is so big. So this is a CC. Uh, it's why they cannot commercialize the work and they have to re uh, share it alike. Means if they take my work, they have to sh share exactly as it is, and other people who share it have to share it exactly. So that means they cannot modify the work any anymore. It's just shared alike. So the license will basically be choose on that. For example, no, I just click and then I get a new type of license. Okay, so I uh, make it free license. Yes and then I create my license, okay? Now this license, actually you can put it in your, here it is. So this is the license here. Now what you need to do is, suppose you have an article, you need to copy this and paste it in your, uh, so I'm going to copy it, I select, copy, control C, uh, control C, right? And then I go back to my Google document, for example here, this is my slide I'm making, I just control V, paste. Paste doesn't work. So Apple has different function. C, control C, control V. Common. common. Okay, so create a common. Can you? Okay, creative common. I just copy. Right click, same. I'm not used to Apple. Control C, right? Control C. And common C. Control V. Common. Uh -huh. Oh, command. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. okay. I use. Yeah, command, <laughs> command, okay. So you com command V. Command C. C and then Command V. Okay, now this one will copy the license into your slide. So if you're creating PowerPoint <coughs> slide, you can just copy and paste into your PowerPoint slide. So the Creative Commons license will appear in your slide, which means that if you are if you are very, uh, how do you say, if you want to make it really restrictive, you can paste it on each and every slide at the bottom in the header or footer, just put it there that, so the student cannot use part of the slide. But once the document is there, it's Creative Commons, it's basically, CCBY, so students have to comply with their downloads, upload, or whoever else uses your document. So this is designed to protect your right as an author. So you're, when you create a slide, you're actually becoming an author. So it's actually like a publication, so you need to protect it by using a CCBY license. Only thing when you use CCBY license, make sure about one thing, that the content inside the lecture note is not from another copyrighted material that opens you for legal action. You should not use. You can use other CC material in your slide, like Pixabay, Creative Commons images you can use in your slide, but make sure that you don't use uh, copyrighted material in your slide and then distribute it under CC BY license. That's, that's our role as a, I mean, as a curator. We are called curator, right? We see the content in the deposit, okay? You have any question?